feel like I'm sitting way down here because of my chair. Hi guys. Um, tonight's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I've got some things that I wanted to ask you guys if you knew about. If you did, great. If you didn't, then you learned something. Alright, the first thing we're going to talk about is carnival glass. Carnival glass. How many of you know how Carnival Glass got its name and how it became? Back in the 1920s and the 1930s when traveling carnivals were so popular and they were given away free prizes, they had to come up with something that was cheap to give away because it was costing them a fortune for stuffed animals and stuff. So they made a deal with a glass company on their glassware and they could buy it by the pallets for very cheap because the glass company wanted their product out there because at the same time they were selling their carnival glass in the stores so that's how it became carnival glass because they were buying it by the pallets and when you won at the carnival you got a piece of this glass now how it got I don't know if you guys can see this or not, if I'm close enough or too close. When you turn it, how carnival glass has a sheen and turns different colors. Like this one will is an amber cookie jar, candy jar. And if you turn it, it turns green, purple, blue. How they get that is while the glass is still hot, they pour salt water on it. And salt water is what causes the glass to have that sheen and start turning different colors. Well, see, at the same time that they were selling pieces in the stores, they, you, could, you didn't have to get them through the carnival because a lot of people wanted some of this, didn't go to carnival. So they were selling them in the store and they were just using the carnivals basically as a promotion thing. Well, over the years, it was unclear what pieces were given away at the carnival of what was sold in the store, so it all became depression glass or carnival glass. So that's how carnival glass became. All right, I have a couple of other things. Uh, how many of you know what this is? This is called a flinge plunger. Now, the company that makes these put this little flinge on it, and that is so this part, when you use it on your bathroom, this goes down into the hole, but you can't use it on your sink. Well, then they had the regular plungers that didn't have it that you used on your sink. Well, how many of you knew that you could take the flinge and flip it in like that, and it became a regular plunger? Ugh. That you could just clean it up, rinse it off, and it was a regular plunger. But they never told anybody because... That was more sales for them. You bought one plunger for your bathroom and one for the kitchen. But no longer. You only need one. All right. Number two. How many of you buy rolls of plastic or aluminum foil or parchment paper and you go to take your paper out to tear it and it just flies all over the place? How many of you knew that on every one of these... At the ends, there's little uh, corrugated pieces here, and you push them in. Now, this is on everything. You push them in like this into your roll, and that keeps your paper, your roll, from flying out while you're cutting it. You know, I didn't know that for many, many years. All right, let me, uh, oh, another thing. I'm going to have to move the camera here, guys. How many of you know exactly and truthfully what the bottom drawer is on your stove? A lot of people, like me, think it's for using it for extra pans. That's not the use for that. That is actually a warming oven. If you're baking and you have, you know, loads of bread or whatever to make, that actually 
that's actually where you put your bread to keep it warm while you're baking other bread. So you could put pies, whatever you want to keep warm, actually went down there. That is a warming drawer. I use it for extra pots and pans. All right. Another thing, how many of you buy these um, cup soup? Ugh. You get three of these cups to a package. They're uh, at the dollar store. They're a dollar, and uh, as you can see, this one's still sealed, never been opened. Plastic surrounding it. How many of you knew this about them? Do you see it? The noodles are in the middle. There's nothing in the bottom and space air at the top. So, let me get this open. I want to show you something else here. Now, these are the instant cup of suits. And I'm trying to prove to you that you're only paying for the cut really all right so now look at your vegetables that they put in there one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten pieces of peas twelve pieces of corn and a few dabs of carrots and then this is what you get for the noodles Think about this. You could buy, they have the, the Raymond noodles, which this is what this is. They have the Raymond noodles, five packs for a dollar. And there's three of these, right? So, in a pack of Raymond noodles, you get twice as much. So, you can buy a pack of five packs of noodles for a dollar and get two times as, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten times the amount buying a one dollar pack of Raymond noodles that you get in buying three cups of this soup. Then you can buy a dollar bag of corn, peas, and carrots at the dollar store and put your own amount in there like this. You spend two dollars for ten times as much as you can get for one dollar for the cup soup. To me, that's a big savings. And you can buy a dollar bag of uh, Starphone cups and take them with you. Make your own up. It is so much cheaper to do it that way. And it just baffled me when I found out that these cups weren't even full. All right. And I think the last thing I wanted to talk about, I'm going to have to put you up here so you can see this. The last thing I wanted to talk about was a tape measure. How many of you knew that on a tape measure, the little metal thing here on the end moves back and forth? Can you see that? And a lot of people think that there's something wrong with their tape measure. That is not the truth. Here's the truth. When you measure something on top, say from here, to this side can you see what it is and if you have to hook it over it moves outward so the tape still comes even with this and you get the exact same measurement so you push it in to measure from the top over and it slides outward to get the exact measure this way Okay, guys, I hope this was fun for you. I hope this was fun for you. I just wanted to do something just a little bit different. Let's see. Let me make sure I covered everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think so. But for you that already knew all of this, great. For you that learned something new, great. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So... 
and on my uh, cooking channel, you will be seeing me load some videos on both channels that will be the same. The reason for me doing that is because my cooking channel is still pretty low, so I'm going to load it on both channels to make sure everybody gets a chance to see it. And once the cooking channel starts picking up and we get more and more subs, then I'll start moving all the cooking videos just for that one channel. And that way, everybody gets to see all the videos, which I won't load them both at the same time. They'll be in, in the different uh, days or weeks or whatever. That way, you don't get real bored of them. But I just want to make sure that all my uh, subscribers get to see the videos. And if I load all of them over there, a lot of people won't get to see them because I only have 107 subs over there right now. So I will be loading them on both. Guys, thank you very much. And I want to thank everybody who has went over and subbed to that channel and trying to help me build it a little bit. I do appreciate it. So, all right. I got a couple of new videos coming out pretty soon, too. Uh, I got another video coming out next week where I sit down and talk about... The other day I was thinking about people in my past, and I got thinking about funny names of people that I remember. So I'm going to sit down and talk about names of people that I remember when I was a kid or a teenager, and they're all gone now, and you don't hear those names anymore. And some were nicknames... Uh, but we'll go through that in that video. Guys, thanks for watching and have a good night.